cause of that row was Peter Burden. You know there was nothing in that. I didn't know anything of the sort. He gave you presents. Oh, presents? Only a trivial little brooch. I remember it well, bristling with diamonds and the worst possible taste. Not at all. It was very pretty. I still have it. And I wear it often. You went out of your way to torture me over Peter Burden. No, I didn't. You built the whole thing up in your jealous little imagination. You knew he was in love with you. Well, just a little perhaps. You let him see it. You let him kiss you. Well, what of it? What of it? Well, it gave him a lot of pleasure. It didn't hurt me. But what about me? Well, if you hadn't been so suspicious and nervous, you wouldn't have known a thing about it. Oh, well, that's a nice point of view, I must admit. Oh, dear. I'm bored with this conversation. So am I bored stiff. Would you like a little more brandy? No, thanks. I only had two glasses and they were very small ones. It seems so silly to go on and on and on with a thing. I don't see how having two minute liqueur glasses of brandy in the whole evening could be described as going on and on and on. It's become a habit with you. There's no need to go grand, just as you don't happen to want any yourself at the moment. Oh, don't be stupid. Really, Amanda? What? Nothing. <coughs> Going out somewhere? No. Just making myself fascinated for you, darling. That remark. Has broken my heart. The job of a woman is to allure a man. Watch me a minute, won't you? As a matter of fact, that's true. <coughs> no, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Oh, be quiet. It's a pity you didn't have any more plans. <coughs> it might have made you a little less disagreeable. It doesn't seem to have done such wonders with you. Snap, 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 like a little apple. Apples don't snap. They sting. They snap. They have a little bag of venom behind their fangs and they snap. They sting. They snap. I don't care if you mind. I don't care if they bark and roll. Did you see much of Peter Burden after we were divorced? Yes, I did. Quite a lot. But you let him kiss you a good deal more then, didn't you? Mind your own business. You must have had a right of time. No restraint, very enjoyable. You never had much anyhow. You're quite insufferable. I expect it's because you're drunk. I'm not in the least drunk. <laughs> you always had a weak head. I think I mentioned once before that I have had three minute liqueur glasses of brandy in the whole evening. A child of two couldn't get drunk on that. <laughs> on the contrary, a child of two could get violently drunk on only one glass of brandy. How interesting. How about a, a child of four or a child of six and a child of nine? about it, intemperate tops. Not very funny, dear. <laughs> you better have a glass of brandy. Very good idea. I think I will. Ridiculous ass. I beg your pardon? I said, ridiculous ass. Thank you very much indeed.
You'd better turn that off. It's rather late and it will annoy the people upstairs. There aren't any people upstairs. It's just a time of stupid. There are people downstairs, I suppose. They're away in tunis. This is no time of the year for tunis. <laughs> Really? 